Hello, welcome to the truce. Elton John and Dolce and Gabbana are in an IVF spat. Plus, three British teenagers have been nicked in Turkey because they might be going to Syria. I'm going to show you now how these things are connected. They are a fashion institution. He is a music icon. But now these global heavyweights have had a big falling out. I don't want to worry you, but there's a global heavyweight at the door. So John, <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana, what are you going to do? Hey, you, I designed you a nice bloody belt. Responding to the criticism, Domenico Dolce said he'd only been expressing his own opinions. <laughs> I saw what anyone's doing. Hey, that's just my own opinion. I wasn't planning to form like a fascistic group and then like storm Italy, killing people and then set up a party where IVF was banned. I know that! You're not Mussolini! It's not Dolce and Mussolini! Dolce and Gabbana will be hoping their traditional view on families doesn't tarnish their modern luxury image. At the Dolce, Dolce and Gabbana, well the clothes are really cool and your birth is natural. At the Dolce, Dolce and Gabbana! The spat was sparked by a magazine interview in which Domenico Dolce said creating children must be an act of love. I call children of chemistry synthetic children. One of the things that the Gabbana or Dolce guy said was that, it, uh, that, fa that the fulcrum of creation of human life should be love. And I suppose that's why old John is offended because I imagine he feels that him and David Furnish love one another and they love the children and the genesis of those children was love. But this absence of love and family has broader connotations across society. And what you've just witnessed there is me moving from a celebrity story into a much bigger cultural phenomenon. Hundreds of young British men and dozens of women have joined the so-called Islamic State. But now three teenagers apparently trying to get to Syria have been thwarted. I like that photo montage ending in these three mystery men, like with the Beatles. Well, the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security are warning police across the country about the growing trend of American girls and boys trying to join the ranks of ISIS. Growing trend of joining ISIS. I like new speaking Barbie. Really? I'm going to join ISIS. <laughs> Here to break it down is the former Deputy Assistant Director of Counterterrorism at the FBI. What's the profile of an American teen who would try to join a group like that? The modern teenager, he don't like none of your Bill Haley's comets, and he don't want none of your soda streams or coke floats. He's much more likely to be joining the ISIS. Well, of course, we can't think like these people think and like they perceive things, so that's a good thing for all of us. I mean, I saw one guy once, he was eating a halal by worshipping an Allah and reading a Quran. So I don't know what this guy's up to. This person can't answer the question honestly. He can't say that, well, with ubiquitous capitalism and no other ideology presented as possible, what we have is a deep cultural malaise and a sense of total dislocation and loss. Where do they get this idea? Where online? How are they being recruited? They're actually being recruited through social media. The social media is the tool. The feeling is the alienation. You've drifted off now into blaming social media because you can't reach the actual conclusion. This is a, a cultural and ideological problem that's all pervasive and that to address, we would have to, on almost day one, shut down Fox News. These terrorist groups, these terrorist organizations, who some people might not think are very sophisticated, are actually way ahead of us in learning how to manipulate the social media. These guys are the Mark Zuckerbergs of the fundamentalist Muslim world. When they're not rolling over heels, they're designing brilliant online campaigns. Uh, Candy Crush, that was designed by Osama bin Laden. Uh, Sim City, I, I believe it was Abu Hamza that came up with that. An American teenager accused of helping another young man travel to Syria to join ISIS. We're trying to find out if anyone's home to talk to him about their son. Hi, can we just talk to you about your son, ma'am? <laughs> His compassion voice was so shit. We're gonna talk to these people. Hello, could I just very nicely touch your titty boob? Wait! Yeah, I'll fuck this door open! Griff, um, do you get the sense that this is a dumb kid that got caught up in something? Well, that's a good question. I mean, look, we tracked this kid down the same way that he was recruiting people through social media. Yeah, I think what you're describing is being a news reporter. And that led us to both his home as well as to the professor that knew him. Here he wants a pat on the back for doing his job, this bloke, doesn't he? 
Then I had to fill in an expenses form. As well as an online uh, blog that deals with digital currency, Bitcoin. Why are dragging Bitcoin in? Well, because it's an alternative currency that we can't control. Should we just drag this in? Well, it seems a bit spurious. Yeah, I know, but we might as well attack everything. Also, he was gay. This was a kid that kept to himself. He was very much a computer. He was very much a computer. Was he? He was very much a computer. I think you've misunderstood some of the fundamental elements of the story there, in spite of your obvious endeavours. I don't think he was fundamentally a computer. Well, I pulled him apart, and in there there's like a little wet kidney things, and he's got a brain, that seems to be a neur neurosis. He's like a computer, made out of, like, bones. Intelligent, advanced sort of student. So why is he helping someone get over to Syria to join ISIS? We don't know that. In a way, the problem of teenagers joining ISIS is merely an extreme example of what we're all experiencing alienation, loss, and total lack of connection. In a way, we are all synthetic children, grown in the petri dish of capitalism. Primarily, we're consumers rather than civilians or citizens. We're told that we can solve our problems through buying, forever engaged with meaningless drivel, plugged into a senseless matrix of boring, meaningless information to the point where we can't walk around or be in nature or if you see a weasel on a kingfisher's back it blows your mind to be reminded that you live amidst natural miracles both within and without. Until we have a society built upon compassion that truly acknowledges that love is the centre of family, whatever kind of family it is, you'll have extreme problems in either direction and that's how Dolce Gabbana and Elton John are connected to children joining ISIS. True news, subscribe here. a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Truths is like the news. If the news was true, I want some truths. Let's have some truths.